Okay, so I just wanted to take some pictures. Let me see, is it something on my lens? Why is it looking a little, there you go. Anyway, so I wanna take, take these clothes off. I know, I know baby. See my mom, I don't even want no pink pacifier. He's like, oh my gosh. Poor baby. Um, yeah, this this is something. I've done it to Noah too, but I, I've never posted pictures of Noah or showed Noah um, when I wanted to decide if I wanted to do a girl in the sleep. But I, I had a request too for someone. They wanted to see, see um, him as a girl. So... I did that for them and for me but he is all boy and I mean he looks good as a, a girl but I, this one is a boy and I'm I don't know I can't I can't keep him in those kind of clothes I know some some collectors actually have changed the gender of their full body silicone babies like they just don't you know even though they have like the opposite private bits they still um put them in the um let me hang this up this outfit had never been worn until it still has a tag on um they have um they just they still even though they have their um private and they're anatomically correct that's what I'm looking for um they still put them in the opposite gender um clothes and that's that's basically how they keep them I've seen you know a lot of collectors do that well not a lot but I've seen a few that's done that and I mean you know it's it's their it's your choice. It's your money, you know. Um, it's your 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 doll, your collection. Like I think sometimes, as a community, we get too judgy on what people do with their own collection. Um, now, I heard someone sold a doll one time. Um, as the opposite <laughs> gender, even though it had had different parts now that's a whole nother story like yeah now that one that's wrong that's that's way wrong but um if it's your private collection and that's what you want to do while they're in your collection then guess what that's fine that is perfectly fine um but yeah i've decided and i, I said i was going to talk about this more but i just seem like i just hadn't really had the time I had been not feeling well yesterday and you know it's like it's if it's not one thing I don't want to say that I'm not supposed to say that I've always been told don't say that um it's like speaking things onto your life so I'm just gonna say I've had a couple things go on and I've just decided that I'm gonna stick to more so painting my reborns for sale um, after Finn sales, that, that will be my last one. I did commit to a long time friend that I would paint their silicone kit when they get it for them. And, um, I am going to keep my word on that, but, um, I don't know if these go this way or in this way. I want to say this is the back. Um, but that's that's it. That will be it for me um, as far as painting silicone to sell. I will be painting my Reborns to sell and I will be painting silicone for myself. Um, so that's um, that's where I'm at with that. That's one of the things that's about to change about how I do things. And um, 
just a lot of a lot of stuff I've been trying to keep up with my videos but I'm painting a lot and I've been working a lot and Finn kind of took up a lot of my time just trying to get him rooted just sitting for hours and hours I remember sitting I rooted on him one time for seven hours four hours straight took a break and then another three hours and I mean I rooted on him like all day trying to to get him finished and so it was a lot of work and the reason why I've had a lot of interest in Finn he hasn't sold yet he just went to eBay um the it's not because I don't think he will sell or anything it's just that it gives me so much anxiety for one to sell when I sell you know dolls that expensive and for two um I know it's a lot of people out here that can afford the silicone but I feel like it's more people that can't and I just feel like um and you know unless the the with the silicone that's why you see a lot of artists do customs because then they you know they don't have all that money tied up into it and you know the they already the baby's already sold they don't have to spend three thousand dollars on the kit and then sit and wait and hope and pray that it sells or you know have their money tied up into that kit until it sells so when they have a custom the customer pays for the kit and all they're investing is their time and then when it's done and some and a lot of them make you pay it off as soon as they take the order or they have you do a layaway on your their fee of how much they charge because a lot of the silicone artists charge quite a bit to paint and root these days as well so with that being said you know and that could change a little later but I just don't I don't feel like I can do customs so therefore painting silicone for other people is out of the question for me and I'm not gonna paint for free definitely not so that way that 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 little saga is over now I you know I did when I did Kaysen his mommy had already bought the kit she sent me the kit it was a pleasant experience baby was sold boom um, Penelope was a personal baby so I wasn't like in a dire need to, to buy to sell her or anything like that and she sold fairly quickly I actually don't mind I actually almost considered doing where I would I would paint like preemies um, sleeping preemies as customs I thought about doing that that I could do that but I don't know I just I think I'm just gonna leave it all alone and just stick to why I actually came into the hobby um, which is I do all right on my my personal job and stuff my, my I mean my regular job and stuff and I just I just feel like I don't want to add the stress I I really stressed out over putting Finn up and for sale and just it's just so many emails and messages and I just haven't even been able to get to all of them because they're going in all different places and in boxes that I don't even get to see unless I have to go searching for it and so I just put them on eBay it's just easier on eBay for me a lot of times because you know that's where he's at you got all the pictures all the information that you need about him there um, and yeah and you you know the person want them they buy them purchase them and I ship I am actually going to get him ready and get him packed up I'm gonna go ahead and pack him up this weekend get him in his um, everything get him you know all packed up and everything and I'll unpack him if he don't sell and keep him for myself but I think he'll sell he's got a lot of interest in him it's just some some people 
needed you know long layaways and I just I can't do that at this time um, and it's just you know just like you know uh, buyers have to be careful sellers have to be careful too in how they you know do business as well because you don't know sometimes you don't know who you're dealing with and you know sellers get scammed too so um i saw a lot of posts go up about that and you know it's it's i don't know but anyway that's that i i get really sh stressed out when i have to sell a doll <laughs> I know a lot of people don't get to see that side and know that about me, but I get a lot of anxiety. I, a lot of anxiety, like too much anxiety, um, over it. I'm a little bit more relaxed with my reborns now because I guess I'm, I'm a little bit more confident. So, you know, it is what it is. I, 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 I love my own work, but you know, you never know if other people are going to love it. And then, you know, you just go through all those different phases and stuff. So it's a lot of anxiety with it on from, well, my experience. I'm speaking for myself. I can't speak for everybody else. Um, but I have also made some other changes. Like I said, I will try my hardest to get live some point this weekend with the gym pot with everyone and we can kind of laugh and have some fun and, and and talk about some things um this pacifier need to be rinsed off it's got too much lint on it i'm not giving that to him um yeah just a lot of a lot of different changes um i am expecting a baby um today and i'm really really thrilled about that like so thrilled you guys have no idea i've i've actually been waiting on this baby for a little while a while um there's a backstory to it um basically long story short it turned into a private order um but I didn't know the baby was being painted. And I just, this, this baby was made just for me, I think. <laughs> and I am just so ecstatic about it. Um, I don't have any of this artist work in my collection. Um, but I have seen their work in person and I love it. So I'm really excited about that. Um, it will be the last um, baby that I buy. Um, I'll let you know it is a reborn. It is, it'll be the last reborn that I buy. Um, I've decided that's also one of the things <laughs> I've decided is that I will paint my own reborns from this point on. And... Um, most of my silicone babies. I won't say I will paint all my silicone babies because you guys know I have a true addiction to the Claritella dolls, but I got a strong feeling that I would probably only be buying one a year. <laughs> Maybe. It just depends on how, how life goes and how she don't put out like tons like that. Her babies. And I think that's what makes it more valuable when and I, I know she doesn't do it purposely I'm sure it just takes time but to me it makes it more valuable when the the dolls is rare or getting a doll by a particular artist is rare you know that's why like you never see me go go ahead and put my Dwayne up I changed him to a boy I dressed him the the two boys are together right now i'm I'm gonna when i show them all all my babies together you guys will see him um i love him as a boy and i'm enjoying him and i said you know what i'll be crazy to let that baby go being that claire doesn't paint vinyl like that 
um, and put it up for sale. And then I will let go of that baby and get another artist baby or keep or to keep that keep another artist baby over that those babies are crazy because most artists paint babies all the time versus it will be very rare and far in between before I get another painted vinyl by Claire Teller so that's how it go um a lot of people don't understand the minds of other people that's stupid. Anyway, I was about to go into a whole other subject and I decided, looked at the time and I'm like, I don't want to go into it. So we'll talk later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.